What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. Today I'm very excited to be checking out Mars Attack. 10 minute takedown from Steve Jackson Games. This is for 2 to 4 players. Age is 10 plus, but I think that's mostly just because of the theme. It'll take you about, well, 10 minutes to play. And in Mars Attack 10 minute takedown, you're going to be taking dice and flicking them into little circles. Uh, it's got a Mars Attack theme, but it's kind of pasted on there. But is the game good? Let's open it up and check it out. Alright then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Martyr's Attack 10 Minute Takedown. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. It is one page, double sided, full color, got pictures, illustrations, examples, and it's very well done. It'll have you up and running in no time at all. And honestly, I can teach you the game right now because it is incredibly simple. So what you're going to be doing in Mars Attack's 10 Minute Takedown is you are going to be flicking dice and attempting to get them onto uh, between three and five rings on the board, depending on how many players you have in the game. Right now I have a two player player game setup. However, you will notice there are two additional little rings right here. And I'll show you how this works. Uh, so essentially, they are going to come together and form a picture just like so. On the back, you'll see uh, different bonuses, but I'll get more into that in a minute. Uh, also, on component-wise, you're going to get four of these little discs right here. These are essentially going to be your markers for where your dice gets flicked to. That'll make more sense in a minute. Last but not least, you're going to get one standard, well, not standard, but one D6 dice. It's going to have three symbols on it. It's going to have two greens, two oranges, and then two whites. It's a pretty nice-looking dice. It is a little bit smaller than your average dice, but that actually kind of works for the game. So... In this game, you're trying to get the most points. How do you get points? Well, I will show you. We've got a two-player game set up, as I mentioned. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure that everyone is about an arm's length away from the three right here. And you're going to set them up uh, how they show on the board. And uh, it's actually kind of a l nice little way you can do it because you figure out exactly how far things are supposed to be away from each other by spacing them out with these guys right here. So that works out really well. So first player is going to go, whoever is the closest to Mars, and they are going to flick the dice however they choose to do it. So that was a good flick. Obviously, I'm very, very close. And then their turn would be over. What they would do now is they're going to bloop, place their marker on top of the die to symbolize that is where they're going to start off next round. And the other player would go. So they'd start over here, and then they would go ahead, and they'd go blue, and they'd flick. And that was a pretty good flick. They'd place their marker right there, and then it'd be going back to me. Now, I am trying to get on these boards, because getting on these little boards is how you're going to score points. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, I am on it. That is awesome. So, what I would do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the outer ring of the circle to symbolize I have gained one point. Now, I'm also going to look at the die. I have orange. If the symbol on the inside of this is orange, I would also get to flip my token over. Unfortunately, I do not. It's green. So I don't get to flip the token over, so it will be worth one point at the end of the game. Now, let's pretend that it had been green. What I'd do is I'd put it in front of me, but I would flip it over to symbolize that I actually get a bonus. So instead of scoring one point, I'm now going to score two points. I would move my little spaceship back to where, uh, back to the beginning, and then my opponent would go, and then they would try and get it onto the spot right here. So let's just say, oh, they did, it's cocked on there, but it still counts. So they would now take the innermost, or the outermost ring. So even if you land on the center first try, you don't take the center ring, you take the outside ring, so it works its way up. But as you get down to that little tiny center thing, it's going to get a lot harder to get on there. Now there's some other things that can happen in this game that will happen. Uh... What happens if you roll your dice and it lands on somebody else's spaceship? Well, that's bad for you. You have attacked their spaceship, uh, which means they are going to, you're going to put your piece right there. That's where your piece is going to stay. And then they have to start all the way back at the beginning, and they have lost quite a bit of progress. But anywho, you are going to continue to do this until all of the pieces from the center of the board are gone, at which point you will tally up all your points. Whoever is the most points will be the winner of Mars Attack's 10-minute takedown. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Okery dokery, Mars Attack 10-minute takedown from Steve Jackson Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, this is a flicking game. If you don't like flicking games, this is not going to be for you. It's all dexterity. If you hate dexterity games, well, look further. Also, minimal strategy, which, which is going to come into play a lot of the time with flicking games, obviously. Uh, there is a little bit of strategy of like, oh, do, I'm close enough to his, maybe I try and flick it on his, because then it'll knock him all the way back. But really, there's next to no strategy. Also, the theme is pasted on. It is uh, completely pasted on. 
Um, I, I like the artwork, and, and the, die, the custom die is pretty nice, but I will still admit that even though I enjoy the theme, the theme, you can place it with just about anything. And actually, there's probably themes that are more fitting than this theme is. Um, two to four players, so it's got a pretty limited player count, and... Oh, the box itself is a little bit on the flimsy side. Mine was actually injured just in uh, shipping, and it's, it's kind of a flimsier box, but uh, we'll move on to why it's a flimsier box when we get to the pros. So moving on to the pros, Mars Attacks 10-Minute Takedown. I was not sure about this game. I looked at the back, and I was like, hmm, what is this about? And I played it, and I'll tell you what, I had a lot of fun. This is a really fun game. And when I say fun, I don't mean like viticulture fun or data winner fun or dominion fun. No, this is just fun. It's just stupid, dumb, fun. And sometimes that's what you want in a game. And this game packs that. It's 10 bucks, which kind of explains the packaging. Uh, but but I like the mechanics. I like the flicking. I really like the way that the, uh, the little spaceship work where they mark your spots on the board. So they save money without, you know, they only put the one custom die in there. Components, aside from the box, are very nice. Wool booklets, nice. Everything fits in there, nice, compact. It's portable. I mean, honestly, this is a really good family game. If you can get past the theme, then, then I highly recommend this as a family game. But other than a family game, can I recommend this? Yes, 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 I can. It's a fun little filler game. Somebody says, oh, sorry, running late. Be there at 15. Guess what? Mars Attacks, 10-minute takedown. They're going to get there right as you finish playing this. They'll be like, what was that? That looks pretty cool. Um, I like it with two, three, or four players. This game is just a lot of fun. Um, so, Mars Attacks, 10-minute takedown, Steve Jackson games. If you're looking for a fun game, you got 10 bucks burning a hole in your pocket. Maybe you're looking for a compact game. Uh, take on a trip with you. Take to a restaurant. This, this is a good restaurant game. This is a fantastic restaurant game. Uh, Mars Attack, 10-minute takedown. Look no further. Highly recommended. Go in on my show. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. And in the comments below, let me know. Do you remember anything at all about Mars Attacks? Now, I remember uh, back in the day, we used to have, we used to have like, Saturday like TV and you could you could like order a movie and then you get to watch it as many times as you want for 24 hours and I my dad would do that and I would sit there and watch the movie like six times in a day yeah I was a pretty sad kid um, but but anywho I remember watching the snot out of this movie and we used to record it on VHS don't tell the FBI do not tell the FBI because that is illegal uh, but yeah, I remember watching this many, many times, and I'll be brutally honest with you, I remember absolutely nothing about the theme, but I do remember liking the game. I think Jeff Goldblum is in it. I love Jeff Goldblum. So, in the comments below, let me know, Mars Attacks, do you remember anything about this movie? Because I sure as heck don't. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Mars Attacks, 10-minute takedown. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.